With family law, probably the basic challenge, especially for a young person, is it's a very emotional, uh, it's a very labor-intensive practice. You have to be able to identify with the clients, but also keep your distance because they are hiring you to give them advice, not the other way around. So that objectivity to be able to say to somebody, maybe you're not thinking about that in the right way. Maybe we should think about it in this way. Um, the ability to do that and to be able to talk to someone on a personal basis, on a one-to-one -one basis, is very challenging, especially when you're dealing with people who are highly emotional, who have a lot to risk, and they are not only looking for a lawyer, but they're looking for somebody to sympathize with them. And sympathy sometimes is not the best attribute to give to these clients. You have to get them in line with what is best for the outcome and how they have to start thinking about the realities of their situation. When a client comes in for the first time, I usually uh, try to empathize with them. They're not here for a good reason. They're meeting somebody like me does not mean they're in a great place in their life, and I try to make them understand that I understand why they're there. I ask them to be candid with me. I explain the attorney-client privilege and how nobody, even my wife, can understand or appreciate what we're talking about. Uh, and then I ask them to tell their story. Why are you here? What is going on in your life that brings you to this life-changing decision that you are contemplating, divorce or some other related topic that we deal with? Um, I eventually get them to, depending upon if there's children issues or not children issues, you delve into the child issues, do you have special needs issues, do you have parenting issues? And then when you get to the finances, trying to get an overall understanding to the extent that they have an overall understanding of what the finances are like. Because we meet many people who just don't know, and they hire us to find out. The hardest part to what we do is divorce attorneys or attorneys involved in the domestic relations matters is trying to maintain that level of objectivity because it's very easy to want to help people who are in their times of crisis. And again, I believe our role is not only to guide them through the process but to raise them to a level that they can deal with these issues, accept the issues make intelligent decisions about those issues, the risk and reward that comes from do I do X or do, do I do Y? What is the cost involved? Things of that nature. Uh, you try to give them at the initial meeting uh, somewhat of a feel for the ineffectiveness sometimes of the process itself and that there's not going to be a winner, there's not going to be a loser, but you're going to try to make the best situation out of the facts as they exist. I get the greatest uh, satisfaction in representing clients in one of those situations or in some of those cases where there's a lot of moving pieces, there's a lot of moving parts. Uh, that comes the puzzle nature of the issue. Uh, I enjoy it particularly when the client is engaged in the process, understands the process, wants to understand the process, so then they can make intelligent decisions and we can formulate the best strategy to try to reach an overall result. And that overall result is not necessarily a legal result. It can be from a financial planning standpoint. It could be a mix of finances and what to do with the children and long term. Uh, where will they be at, not in five years, but in 10 years, 15 years, and 20 years? Why I'm still engaged after all these years with the firm is probably their approach. Their approach to they're not content with what happened five years ago in a case, or how we handled our other attorneys five years ago in a case or how we handled the opposition. It's, it's constantly evolving. And I think one of the strengths that the firm has is the uh, continued uh, hiring of younger people and people who are, quite frankly, in an 
in a life, in a thinking process that I don't understand, and I include my kids in that process. I don't know how they're making those de decisions and why they're making those decisions. So it keeps everybody fresh. Um, it's a, again, the problem solving approach and the more good, realistic minds that you can bring to a problem, you're gonna get an infinite amount of thoughts and ideas and then taking those ideas and then fitting them to how to best deal with this set of circumstances is, is a true strength. Their ability and our ability to think outside the box and to be creative is uh, unparalleled compared to anyone else that I've ever dealt with on the other side. And I've known some very, very, very well-respected attorneys uh, who have been around for a long time and I've ne never seen anything like I see on a daily basis with the people I work with.